So today we are meeting the UK's greatest ever golfer, six time major champion, and he is gonna be giving us some insights as to how he got so good. We've headed down to the Belfry, to the British Masters, and we are meeting none other than Sir Nick Faldo. So Sir Nick is gonna give us three tips on how to get the most out of your driver. Fantastic driver of the golf ball. How do we do it, sir? Um, hey, I'm trying to be different for you. So one really cool thing is when you look down at the, the range, yeah. is, let's go for that pylon. Okay, that's in. That's just, if I want to be super accurate. So this is for your intended target line. Well, here. yeah, well, that's that helps you. Yeah. Because you go, well, that is actually dead straight. Come and double check it. Yeah. Right? And of course, when you come around here, yeah, love that. you are, what, three foot inside the line. So when you look down, that ball is yeah. 15 yards right. Yes, yeah. But... So you go, no, that's not right. It's a double check. It's seriously, you go, you come back and look and go, oh, okay, right. that is straight. So then yeah. you go, oh, wow. Now I know what straight is. And so on the golf course, take the lines on the blooming golf ball. Yeah. Seriously, and point it at your target. Seconds. Yeah, because when you come back here, you go, ah, I now know I am aiming exactly where I want to be aiming. Yeah. That's really important, yeah, really huge, important, because huge. nothing worse than making a decent swing and you're just aiming offline or whatever. Yeah. I mean, alignment for in the pro-ams, I used to say, the guy used to hit it straight in the trees, and I'd go, good shot. And he's like, Faldo. <laughs> and I say, that's right where you're aiming. Yeah. Come how, on. Ma how many on tour, obviously, spent years out there, and when you're commentating still, how many people have got bad aim? 99%. Yeah. Well, apart from the pros. I the mean, pros, from the pros, the pros 99% have got you, good aim. You, the well, other very important thing to know with the pros, you think they're the best in the world, they've got a yeah. secret. I walk down the range and I go, what are you working on? My grip, yeah. my posture, my alignment, and my balance. Yeah, nothing major. All bog standard fundamentals. So yeah. it's there's, they just do it better because they've, yeah. the, they've got the discipline. So this is really easy and cool because yeah. it helps you. So again, when you come here, if you're whatever, so if you're just starting, just think about it. I've got to bonk that ball yeah. over the top of that that's to right. give me a clue. Yeah. You know, that's going to help yeah. you. And I mean, start like that. Just chip it off there and think, okay, wow, that's where the club's got to go. And then you, then if you take, want to take it up a notch or two, you think, if I want to draw the golf ball, wow, this thing has got to already be starting right to the time. right of that. So you think, hmm, where's this club got to go? It's got to go like so. Yeah. to send the ball around it. Same with the other way. And you so you think, well, if I want to make it fade, you know, the, this ball's got to start left of that. So I've got to be coming that way. So yeah. it's a lovely little helper. Yeah. Because that is this is the most important bit. You're, yeah. That's all you can see, isn't it? Yes. And whoosh. Yeah. And so back to what I was saying with the irons, you find what if you're which way your body bends yes more comfortably yeah because some people find this very easy for the you know for the body and arms yeah. to go away from you i yeah. didn't that would be yeah. scary for me i was a lot more comfortable Across everything it. being connected hanging on to it and yeah that's how you phew, that's how you kind of hit your fade. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I think a lot of people now it would be, oh, you're coming across it. That's bad sometimes as well. Well, if you, you know, if you can get it under control, well, there's a different, very well, there's a different coming across to a, yeah, yeah. an over the top across, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 learning that, you know, which and another way. I mean, it might sound scientific, but if you look at the golf ball, I've got to make it fade. I've got to make it spin clockwise. Yes. Okay. So when you look at the ball, you can actually come across it and make it spin clockwise, okay? Yeah. And then if you wanna go, of course you have to go the other way. Yeah. Or oh, I'll give you a tip on this. So go in the other way. What happens a lot, you do it with your arms and yeah. you snap hook it. Yes. Hey, the trick with the draw is you've gotta keep, I say keep my buttons moving. Keep the buttons moving, Yeah, because okay. anybody can go with their arms and look where the club's now going. It's going yeah. whoosh round over here. Yes. But if you do that and keep the buttons moving, then, because you're, you're trying to get the club obviously on a plane and an arc, so it comes down, collects the ball, and keeps going on the same plane. Yeah. So if it's all arms, you wreck your arc and you start coming up and around here. Yes. And you, and you give it too much. Yeah. But if the body moves to help you, look, then it hangs on to the kind of the plane. Yeah. 
and it keeps it going you see because this is still moving yeah if this stopped you get yeah, that you look at the difference of the club shaft does it yeah. will do this as opposed to coming in and all the way so keep this going so yeah. i found when i want to draw it i have to be actually be even more body i got to really rip the body yeah and then let the arms go yeah lovely little draw on that see that's a nice little and how would you give a little bit more pop on the shots how would we get a bit yeah more that's that's well we all know now it's the ground up yeah the science yeah so experiment with your feet a little bit yes and i call it squashing the bug if you let your left heel go yeah and then squash the bug yeah you get this lovely little drop yeah not uh, if you yeah. give it that no <laughs> you need you've got to make a backswing yeah you've got to get it down yeah. just a little bit yeah then you move out your way like so it's this little bit here yeah. so if you practice that there's my backswing let that go then just go bonk yeah this pulls that not the other way around yeah don't go like that don't go yes yeah it's that leave it up there and go donk great that, timing and, drill as well isn't it yeah well you have to have yeah. that little change in direction yeah don't you yeah, you yeah, can't do all yeah. the transition so you just do that and then just pray, hold, leave it up there and just go donk and that's all it is look yeah. that's enough just kick start it's it. not it's not this you don't have to but just start it down then go so that's a fun one so i would i was experimenting with that so let my heel go yeah and then go bug nice didn't quite i didn't quite, away, a bit even i didn't quite off. do it but hang on i could get my heel going a bit more yeah need a bug let the heel go and then squash the bug right so you can go away I like to talk to himself. Away, heel, bug, boom. There you go. You, you hear the sound goes up. Yeah. So Beautiful. we know that. Or again, for fun, experiment with different putting intention in the different parts of your body. Okay. Well, because yeah. we're all built different. We're all strong. Yeah, yeah. You've ever yeah. been doing. You yeah. might. Have, you know, you all, we're all a bit misbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> so you might think, Beautiful hey, my right arm or my right shoulder really works. Uh, you know, yeah so hit it with this yes or hit it with this and yeah. experiment yeah there's no right or wrong way is there what well the other good you? thing is you learn yeah you might go you know every time i hit it with my right shoulder it goes a bit to the right yeah that may not be about such a bad thing because when you play a hole that goes around the corner you now know i'll give it a bit more right shoulder because i always make it go to the right or or i I did this lovely fun experiment. I was doing it, I call it cardio golf. <laughs> so I had I had um, five woods and a dozen balls. Yeah. Two dozen balls. So I thought I hit the first 12 as low as possible. Yeah. It's fast and low. So yeah. I went whack, whack, whack. Boom. And then I go to the next one. I go, I'm now going to hit these as high as possible. Release it as much as I like. So, you know, light bulb. So I then realized, well, all the low ones have gone squirty right. Yeah. And all the high ones have gone left. Yeah. So you can go, well, when I get on the golf course, if the hole goes around the corner, yeah. just hit it low. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah I you mean, seriously. Of it like that. No, because you, why? Ha so there's no technical thought. It's yeah. just like, you know, just low. Yeah. Smash this guy off. It goes around. And then if you know that, like, if you're trying to get a bit more out of your driver, yes. if you know the left rough is fine, it's thin. Yeah. I'd stand up, you know, just yeah. hit it as high as I could because if I pulled it, it right. went further. Yeah. And I was and fine. So that's it, a cool way of playing a golf or rather than think, oh my God, what technical things have I got to do yeah. to work? But if I know my body, just doing a couple yeah. of little things. Yeah. As you know, I mean, if your head moves ahead of the ball, yeah. the ball, the club comes in a little steeper yeah. and the ball's going to go to the yeah, right. Squirt with it, yeah. So you, again, if you're under pressure, you think, well, I know if I lean in this, it goes to the right. And the absolute, of course, the opposite going the other way. You know, if you go backwards and release it, yeah. you know, backwards and release, boof, the ball's going to the left. Like so you that. can't do the opposite. I would say, you know, if you're somebody who's been doing it, you've got to change it. You've got to find a way. You can't do, yeah. what I, back to that line, you can't do the same thing and expect a different result. You've exactly. got to do something. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, in my other, so you wanted to know a, we wanted so to your know, absolute fair, my the fairway, fairway find, you're under pressure, what are we doing? Well, that was my chicken wing. Yeah. Because basically, I'm coming back to what we said, we, I'm controlling the club face. Yeah. I, I feared or couldn't trust, I couldn't roll it this way. 
So you wouldn't do that on the course under pressure. No, you know it's not I, because work. you know it, it can go way too much. Yeah. As you know, if you do, if you just use your hands, you've got that much. Yeah. If you just do your forearms, you've got that much. And if you actually put your attention up here, yeah. then you've only actually got that much. So that's yeah. another way of learning how to draw it. You can use the big muscles rather yeah. than the little one. Yeah. But I used to hang on to it, like so, get the heel of the club to the ball first, feeling, yeah. so open face basically. Yeah. And then you back to that image of hanging on to the face. Yeah. And you notice if you're doing that, you're going to finish that way. You don't, yeah. you don't cross it over that way. Yeah. So I did it in all sorts of different ways. And it, it, it might be one where it was just, just lead with the heel yeah. with the club yes. and keep the face looking kind of open-ish. And I get that or yeah. if I really felt I had to do something a bit more physical than that. Yeah. Which, which is now, I mean, I'd say, because back in the day when you've got great feel and touch, you can yes. play with it. Yeah. But, you know, if you haven't, Quite you don't got play it. a lot, you haven't, you've got to do something a bit more physical. So yeah. the old chicken wing, same thing, you come into there. Yeah. And then if this arm is breaking. Yeah. And you finish, then look what the club face is doing. Yeah. There's no way that's going left. Not, yeah. in, a million, not in a million years, you know. Yeah. So again, so you've worked, so it's now a lot more left side, harder the left side pulls. And then you get that lovely one. You get that low. Yeah, like so you know so what you're going to do. So you know you can do. aim down the left side of the fairway, and you know you're going to squirt it to the right. That's perfect. That's what I used to do. So absolutely hey, love that. So and the other important one to add under pressure is how much your left shot. When you get tight, of course. Yeah. When you get under pressure, could you get tight? So your shoulders do that. Yeah. So that you got a, you got to recognise that and go yes. get your get your shoulder get your shoulders out your ears. Yeah. You, seriously, that's important thing. Okay, I've recognised it. Yeah. And then because you can be swinging beautifully, right there. Yes. And then of course, if it's one inch shorter backswing, look how much difference the shaft has changed. Yes. So there's your lovely backswing. You've done that all day. Now you get a bit nervous. You don't quite get there, and the shaft doesn't make it. Yes. So then you pull, you whack it left. Yeah. They think, oh my God, what's happened? What's yeah. So the next one, you overcompensate. Yeah. And all it was was this. So that was a that was a huge key. When I was under pressure, I used to say, "Make sure Take I see that, see yeah. it." It would be it'd be one and two. We'll see my left shoulder under my chin. And if I just kept doing that in the same slot all the time, yeah. The thing back to what we said. The thing comes down in the same slot. Yeah. So and hopefully there's no surprises. Love it. Well, thank you for those tips. All right, there you go. Absolutely fantastic. That was an awful lot. Hopefully there was uh, some gems there that you can take. Jammed to a your few goal. in there. Yeah and hopefully we'll start playing better golf. Guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. So, some pearls of wisdom there from Sir Nick Faldo. A lot of interesting stuff there. A lot of tidbits that you can pick out. I think a lot of it was definitely you've got to go and practice and then you've got to go and understand your own body. But as always, guys, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. Remember to become a free subscriber. Buttons down below. We'll see you in another lesson very soon.